Hey guys, it's Manny. Uh, what I wanted to do with this video is create a an instance, then create an AMI from that instance, and then move on to uh, our next step is which would be to create an instance from an AMI um, that reflects all the changes that we had made to the um, to the starting uh, instance. Okay, so ideally we just want to launch an instance. And I want to move through this fairly quick, just because I want to make these videos uh, a lot, a lot easier to consume uh, for myself, also for you. So we're going to keep everything default here. We we'll do next add storage uh, tags. We're just going to add a tag because I hate having to change the name afterwards. So we're going to do instance uh, five value. That's fine. Security group. We'll leave it at twenty two, uh, but we'll need port eighty open eventually because we're creating a web server, an Apache server uh, on the Linux instance, so we'll need port 80 open uh, to be able to, to talk to it. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it now so we don't have to do it later and we can fast forward through this a little bit faster. So port 80, uh, you can create a new one. So SSH, uh, HTTP, we're just, we're just gonna call it that. Uh, review and launch, everything is good. And okay, proceed with our key pair. I acknowledge, yep, launch an instance, view instances, okay. All right, so instance, and when you create that tag for the name, it will automatically add that here. And so you don't have to be like, oh yeah, what was this? Oh, oh yeah, and then it's just, it's just faster to do it while you're already building everything. So here, what we'll need to do, since it's gonna be an Apache server, um, we'll need the IP, right? When you put any IP here in the in a browser, it will either reach port 80 uh, or port 443. So as, as you can see, we failed because the instance is not up and we don't have an Apache server running on that instance anyways. So first thing we want to do is connect. This is not associated with the key pair. Let's see if this lets me log in here. Perfect. We're in and it says it's still initializing. Okay. All right. Oh, well, all right. So first, first of all, we want to do this uh, just for best practice, pseudo yum update. So go ahead and do that. This is just go through updates. Uh, yes, finish that. And then we will move into installing the Apache server. So yum install HTTPD. Okay. So uh, we need to be, we need to be root. So pseudo su. Then yum install HTTP. Cool. Uh, yes. That will finish installing. Complete success. And now we move into uh, system CTL. And then we want to start um, the server. That. And then we want to go ahead and enable it as well. Okay. Now that, that's, that's it. That's it. We just created an Apache server. We did not create an HTML file. We can create one if needed. Um, but let's go ahead and check again. Remember, we with a security group that we created, SSH HTTP, the inbound rules of this allowed port 80 from anywhere to connect to it uh, successfully or SSH. Okay, so port 80, this is port 80, which is refreshed. It works. We are connecting right now to the AWS uh, EC2 instance that we created. And now uh, once uh, we have that running, let me see where it is. Okay. I mean, let's, uh, let's just create something. So let's do echo. I don't want to do the same thing every time. So we'll do all the mundo and then we're going to uh, put that into a particular file in, in the the folder we need to put it in. So index on HTML. Okay, and then we're gonna curl local host and port 80. And then we get all the mundo. Okay, so we made that change here in the EC2 instance. Once we go here and refresh, we're gonna see that all the mundo up there. Okay. Uh, let me go back to the instance. Okay. All right, so now what we need to do is create an AMI. We can right click it, image, create image. All right, snap image name, uh, Apache instance, uh, Apache enabled image, 
with Apache. Okay, let's see if they should allow me. Okay, create image. All right, perfect. So we can create the view. We can click on this to go to the AMI. I'd rather just show you where it is here in case you need to navigate. Go to here, images, AMI. So this is going to be, it's going to start creating itself. And what we're going to do once this finishes is instead of going through instances and launch an instance and going through here, uh, because essentially, see here, that first step is choose an AMI. So essentially, we are choosing an AMI. Um, but here, as you can see, we don't, we don't, we don't, it's not showing like we have one here yet. So go to AMIs, still pending. And this AMI will show the Ola Mundo change because we did that, we created the AMI um, after, right? And then we will also add it, once we create the AMI, we will also use uh, the same security group that Instance 5 had, which is gonna be the SSH HTTP. So in th that case, we don't have to create anything new. We just, from the drop down, we select that same security group and those same rules will be applied to the new, um, to the new image, okay? So let's wait here a little bit longer. Um, usually it does not take this long. Okay. But here too, if you want to delete it, um, you would uh, deregister it. If you want to give permissions to specific accounts, uh, you would do it, you would do it through here, right? So you would just add the account number. Uh, it's not gonna be letters, but it's gonna be likely numbers, right? See, num, num lock, right? And then you just add the permission and then we'll add it. It, it, the account numbers will be listed here that you want to give access to and they'll, they'll be able to create images from um, from your AMI. Other than that, um, I think that would be it. And usually what AMIs are used for are for launch configuration. So for example, if you want to make sure that there's high availability and fault tolerance, uh, specifically for AWS, and, and that's that's your goal, right? You just want to create uh, virtual machines that, in case one is one is down, hey, uh, the auto scaling group can either uh, increase or create another one uh, as needed uh, for your organization, right? And that's something that we'll do. Uh, I'll probably do a video on it uh, after, but first we have to get through the AMIs. So okay, so it finished, awesome. Right click, launch, same option. You see how we skip that choose AMI option because we're selecting my AMI, which is the Apache instance that we created. Okay, so we're gonna uh, select that one, go to free tier, next configurance, everything stays default here, add storage uh, tags. We can, we can say instance five with Apache just to, oh wait, that'll be here, this will be name. Okay, configure security group. Remember, we already have one, so we can select one from here and it's gonna be the SSH HTTP that we created. Uh, just verify the rules are correct. Yep, 80 from anywhere and 22 from anywhere. Review and launch. We know that's okay. Uh, we don't need a key pair for that one. Click on confirm, view instances, and then boom. This will start launching. And then we just need to copy the, the public IP that we were given. And of course, it's uh, it's still building here. It's still pending and initializing. Um, so once that is done, we will be able to successfully uh, see that here, not only is the Apache available, uh, but it will also uh, show the that, that we have uh, the Ola Mundo section uh, there. Okay. And as, as you can see, it refreshed on its own and we have the Ola Mundo in the uh, top uh, left and that is that is it that's all we had to do um, and now yeah that's it if you guys want me to do uh, anything else uh, just just let me know uh, essentially what we did here is we create an image we we create an instance we ran some configuration to it we ran some updates we install the Apache server we put an index HTML file we create an image from that particular image we created uh, an instance uh, with Apache. So now eventually what, what I'll do is I'll probably use this 
uh, this instance and then move it on to create a launch configuration and then set up an auto uh, auto scaling group for uh, for that and that is it if you guys want me to do a specific video on something uh, just let me know and I'll be uh, more than happy to to do so thank you